In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to use RightSoft's new Smart Shapes tool. Now, as you may already know, RightSoft is capable of taking a design, such as a radiant or duct design, that you've performed in RightDraw and converting it into a bill of materials. Um, RightSoft is capable of seeing uh, the various components of the design that you've drawn. For instance, uh, the return grills, the supply grills, uh, my branches, my trunks, even the fittings. If I were to go and take a look at our Bill of Materials page, I would see a breakdown of materials used as well as their quantities. However, there are still going to be components used in this design that RightSoft doesn't see from your drawing. The Smart Shapes tool is going to eliminate that problem. Let's say I want my Bill of Materials to include a thermostat, and I want that thermostat to automatically be pulled onto the Bill of Materials based on my drawing. I simply need to draw an icon that represents a thermostat and assign it a part. Here's how that will work. My thermostat is going to be a circle with a letter T in it. So I'll click a circle and draw it. Then click a text box, draw that as well, and set my text. Now I want this icon here, which will, when I print, look something like that, to be considered one icon. Now the way you're going to do that is by grouping. If I select these two objects together, I draw a box around them to do it, I can find my group icon here. Simply click, and now these two separate objects have become one. I can even shrink this object, and while my snap points do obscure it a bit, if I turn them off, which is again how they'll print, that's what it'll look like. Now right now this is just a circle with a T in it. To make that automatically pull a particular thermostat onto my materials list, I right click on that icon. Now if I look at the properties sheet here, it'll show me that this is a symbol um, and give me some different options for it, although once you group an object like that, some of the options that you might have like pen width and text type uh, do go away. Um, what I'm focused on here is link with bill of materials. Now, right now it says no, so nothing's going to happen to my bill of materials. As, as I said, this is just a circle with a T in it. Now, if I say yes, I have some new options here. Uh, part information is the first one I have. Now, if I click on that, I can go and find a thermostat part that I have in my database. I select my part by double-clicking. If I want to remove a part that I accidentally selected, I simply double-click it down here in the linked parts. Now, if I wanted more than one thermostat to be assigned to that component, I could change the quantity here. And when I click OK, my bill of materials will contain that part. I can also change the bill of materials section. By typing something else in this section, RightSoft will automatically create a bill of materials section of that name. I'll just leave it in miscellaneous for now, um, which is the default section that RightSoft will put any new component. If I go and look on my Bill of Materials page, I now have a thermostat automatically. If I took this thermostat and copied it, I would have two thermostats here. I go to my Bill of Materials page, two thermostats. Now you don't have to group items together to make them smart shapes. Any object from here will do. I could draw a squiggly line if I wanted to. And you see here, link with Bill of Materials. Part information. Bill of Materials section. And so on. And the program would automatically map that. But any component from our notation section will do. To raise the stakes even further, line base objects can be mapped as either single components or be mapped by the foot. For example, if I wanted to show line set coming from my air handler here, I could draw a polyline. Start at the air handler, come out, come over, right click to end the drawing, and this could now be assigned, linked with bill of materials, yes, and be assigned to copper line set part where it says part info per I can change it one each 
one per foot or one per meter. The default for line drawings is per foot, as you can see here. Obviously, if you had to create each one of these objects every time you wanted to use one, this wouldn't be a particularly useful feature. Why wouldn't you just select it on the bill of materials if that were the case? This is where Wrightsoft's catalog tool comes in extremely handy. All of these objects can be set up in advance in our catalog section. Now, if you create a catalog item, the part mapping that you establish will be saved in that catalog. If you're not familiar with Wrightsoft's catalog tool, there are other videos on the subject, but here I'll give you a brief overview. This tool right here will toggle on and off the catalog window. Now, you may or may not already have some catalog items in there. The catalog items that ship with our software are unmapped. They do not associate with parts on your bill of materials. Instead, you could right-click in the yellow area here in an empty catalog or in a catalog that had objects, go to the Catalog option, and select New. This will give you a nice new blank catalog to work with. Now simply take any object that you want, select it, copy that object. You could use a keyboard shortcut or this command here, and paste that object by right-clicking the yellow and pasting into that new catalog. And when you do this, Rhinesoft is going to put that shape in your catalog and, since this is a brand new catalog we haven't used yet, ask you to name that catalog. Bear in mind, we're naming the catalog, the whole group of objects I'm going to put in here, not just this one shape, not just this one thermostat. I might call this thermostats. After all, I might have dozens of different thermostats or controls that I might need to have at my fingertips. Simply take the time to build them and save them in this catalog here, and you'll be able to use them whenever you like. To rename these so that you might know what they are, simply click on the name and start typing. The beauty of this is once the catalogs have been created, you can right-click in the yellow here and open those catalogs, whenever you need them. You could have catalogs for zoning with your dampers and controls, catalogs for line sets, electrical components. You're only limited by your needs and imagination. It's a very flexible tool. With a little setup, using this tool you should be able to completely automate your design process right from the drawing screen. This concludes our tutorial on Wrightsoft's new Smart Shapes tool. Thank you for your time and have a good day.